What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be going over my new camera setup and everything that I have in my new camera bag. I'm very excited about this one. It's here. It's here. Scout, it's here, buddy. What's in the boxes, Alan? What could it be? Guys, this is my new camera setup. I cannot explain how excited I am right now. Let's start off this new camera setup with one of the biggest, most important thing, the box in a box. <laughs> I need to cut this open. Right, let's see it. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. <laughs> the packaging is unmatched. A box within a box, and then a bag in a box. Is it finally the time? Will I finally see what's in this bag? Oh yeah. Oh, this is so clean. It's right here. It's gonna hold my whole new setup. I got the Peter McKinnon 25 liter camera bag. This is what's going to house all of my gear. Um, my previous backpack was pretty big and just want to switch it up, make something a little bit more easy to use. Oh, I love this backpack. The features in this thing, I haven't even opened it up yet, but I've done so much research on it on YouTube. The features in this are just amazing. And just right off the bat, the camera bag stands up on its own. That's already a huge win. Oh, so excited I've been tall. Let's get the big box. All right, now this is where the real goods are. <laughs> Scout's gonna knock over my amazing camera setup. You guys would not believe how my phone is angled right now. It is wedged between a chair and a bushel of bananas. <laughs> That's what's currently holding my cell phone up. So you can see why I'm uh, getting some new gear to make my life a little bit easier when it comes to filming and vlogging, which is gonna be starting, guys. This right here, what I'm unveiling right now in these boxes, this is a commitment to myself. I'm very excited to get started here. All right, let's dive in. I'm just gonna grab it. Well, I'll get the main, I'll get the main thing first. Oh, here it is, ready? Oh, I don't know if I'm ready. This right here, everybody, this is the Sony a7S III. It's kind of the flagship camera when it comes to a video first camera. Oh my gosh, there's this. So much stuff to unpack with this thing. Let's just keep unpacking. What is going to go on that camera? Sony 16 millimeter to 35 millimeter 2.8 lens. Oh, just gonna stack that right on top of this guy. Jump into the audio. This is the Sony ECM BCM or B1M, the microphone that's gonna sit on top of the camera. I decided to go with this one because there's no cords, it just goes right into the hot shoe on top of the Sony camera here. And so it's uh, it's a lot smaller. The uh, comparison microphone to this is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Half of the experience when it comes to watching my YouTube videos is going to be audio. So I wanna make sure that I'm investing in this half of my video also. Let's dive into some more. Oh, let's see here. I don't even know what this is. Oh, oh this is, oh, this is sweet. Right here, this is a Polar Pro two to five stop V and D filter. What this is, it's awesome. <laughs> but uh, this is where the real nerd in me is gonna come out. This is basically a pair of sunglasses for my lens. It goes to the end of my lens. And so when you take video, I've, I wanna be able to use my 2.8 uh, f-stop on my camera and get that nice high dynamic range, that depth of field that comes with a nice pricey lens like this. In order to do that, you need to be in a setting when you're taking video to 2.8 and a lot of times when you're outside that 2.8 might just be very bright and without having to crank down your ISO and shutter speed and all that to make the image darker uh, that will kind of mess with the image quality or the cinematicness of the video so you slap one of these guys on like I said it's a pair of sunglasses for your lens you slap this on and it will basically add a little bit of darkness and you can change that darkness too since it's variable from two darkness. Just get a nice image quality. Another thing I'm super excited about. Guys, this is this is all pretty, uh, this is all still pretty new to me too, but I'm just excited. I'm excited to start this journey here. I'm not gonna open this up now. Oh, but the packaging of this is just, wow, this is crazy. This is, this is nice. So this is the Peak Design carbon fiber travel tripod that is very light and condensed and that can fit right on the side of my backpack and this guy will definitely be able to do so. Full of uh, 
couple straps for the backpack. So basically these are a couple straps that are going to go on my Peter McKinnon backpack. And then this will either hold down my water bottle or hold in my tripod into the side pouch. Oh, this is kind of a kind of a necessity. This is a 128 gigabyte tough uh, by Sony SD card here for my camera. Probably gonna be buying like two, three, 10 more of these in the future, I'm sure. This is the Peak Design Capture Clip. What's really awesome about this too is it uses the same base plate on the camera for both this, the Peak Design tripod, as well as uh, something else that's on its way. It's the PGY Tech Mantis Pod 2.0. It actually just came out the other day, and so I ended up ordering that, but it's on back order at the moment. So, ah, here it is. This is sweet. Look at that display. So this is something that just kind of popped up on B&H's uh, quick sale here. Make sure you, you get it before it times out kind of thing. And it definitely caught my eye and I'm very excited about this. This is an aperture light. So basically it's about the size of my hand and it's an LED light that also has a diffuser box around it. So I can use it to help light any of my scenes that I need with warm light, cool light, and in fact, you can change it to any other light that you need, really. I can hook this up to this attachment and then hook up this to my Mantis Pod, which is holding up my camera and all the gear. Investing in the gear that is just going to make me happy and make me film better videos. I'll just show you guys <laughs> what I do. The last two things, I'm not sure how Scout is gonna like it, but anyways, I know I'm gonna like it. These are two drones. You can call them beginner drones. You can probably also call them kid drones too, but hey, you know what? We all have a little bit of kid in us. I know I do. <laughs> we'll see if Scout likes these. I got two of them, so I kinda wanna start collecting uh, like little drones and all like unique kind of drones. I don't know, sounds kinda fun. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll see that in the future unveil, but I have these two now, I have the first generation Mavic Pro. I'd love to get into FPV. Who knows? We'll see. I just want to make some awesome videos and take you guys along for the ride. Well, anyways, guys, um, I'm just going to keep this uh, going no longer. This is all my new gear, and I'm, I'm just so excited. Coffee in hand, camera gear all displayed on the table. <sighs> Life is good, guys. Just in time for 2023. 20, um, I guess with this all being said and me showing you this, this right here is a commitment to you guys. This is a commitment to myself. Here in 2023, I want to at least start the year out by making one video minimal a week. And then maybe as the first month goes by, I just want to get a good routine with that, kind of find my style in the video. And then I'd love to bump it up to making two full YouTube videos every single week. And that just mainly is to just keep on pushing out awesome content to you guys, teach you guys some things that I'm interested in, whether that's fitness, whether that's nutrition, or whether that's motivating or inspiring you guys to just take that extra step in life or try and be that 1% better each and every single day. Uh, I'm all about self-development, not only with fitness, but just always striving to be the best version of yourself. You know, I think it's, fun to just change things up in life, not just stay complacent with what you're comfortable in, but push outside the comfort zone a little bit. And so investing in this stuff is pushing myself outside my comfort zone, that's for sure. Not 100% sure what it's all going to lead to, but we'll see. Let's we'll see what happens at the end of 2023. Right now on Instagram, <laughs> this is just a, maybe some fun stats for me. On Instagram, I'm sitting at 1,943 followers. On YouTube, I'm sitting at 112 subscribers. Whoop, whoop. But that, uh, at the end of 2023, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll change. A uh, little plug for myself. Subscribe if you're watching this. <laughs> More content to come, as you can see, with some exciting gear. We're gonna be giving you guys some amazing cinematics, some awesome stories. What else? TikTok, what am I even at on TikTok? 102? Yeah, 102 followers, I think, on TikTok. More to come. Subscribe if you're new here, 
And stay tuned, guys. There's going to be some amazing content, as you can see, coming your way. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button. If you enjoyed this video, maybe hit that like button. I appreciate that. And apparently the YouTube algorithm loves that too. So do it up. Do it for Scout. You don't have to do it for me. Just do it for this guy. Start seeing some of the new shots with the new camera. Now we got a little vlogging comparison test between the iPhone 11 and the Sony a7S III. Uh, you guys might be able to see I am holding it out the same arm length, but it is much, much, much wider. And then not only that too, but you could just see the cinematics. Oh. So I'm looking currently at the flip out LCD screen when I'm looking right here. And then when I look at the lens, you know, I'm talking straight to you guys. So it does make a difference, but wow, the blurriness on the side, the, the bokeh as they call it. This is really, uh, just going to up this vlogging game and then also with the new Sony mic on top that just goes right into the hot shoe I'm just hoping that this is going to be my dream setup that I've just been wanting for a long time Just more of a running gun cinematic camera that I can get up and vlog with any day and just Inspire you guys and show you guys cool content, but yeah, so you can really see the big difference between uh, the iPhone and the a7s3 especially in the corners of my head where there's a little bit of blurriness you're getting that nice depth of field you can definitely tell that i'm filming right now with a higher quality camera yes it does weigh a little bit more but it's going to be worth it especially when i have all these cool shots around me too the one thing that really stands out to me when you're using those sony a7s3 with this 2.8 lens that allows you to get this nice bokeh around the corners it just makes vlogging and it makes YouTube seem a lot more personal rather than when I'm filming with the iPhone, just everything is in focus. Uh, now when I use this camera, it really just seems that the focus is just more on the person or myself that is talking to the camera. And so uh, it really just helps out with, I don't know, just the, the whole experience, which is what I'm really aiming for to improve with you guys. So I just wanna get good with this. Um, yes your camera equipment does not make you a good YouTuber, but I know this is something that I really want to do, and so I just wanted to start early. Oh, my nose is dripping. <laughs> I just wanted to get my hands right on my dream camera setup right away, and I think it's also just gonna help me stay motivated along the way. All right, everybody, so that is everything that is in this camera bag right here that I'm gonna be filming with here in 2023. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, very excited for all of this to get started and get underway. Excited to learn all this equipment and bring you guys some amazing fitness and adventure related content. So again, this video is a little bit different compared to what I'm usually going to be posting. Again, this is kind of going over a lot of my gear and I'm not gonna become a, a tech or a camera guy necessarily. Although photography and videography definitely is one of my big, big, uh, secondary hobbies I would have to say so you know you're gonna see a lot of cinematic shots you're gonna see a lot of adventure with this guy and myself out in the woods so every here and there I might throw in how I get a couple shots and a little bit about the camera gear and maybe some things that I learn along the way so if you guys are interested in that if that sounds good to you make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the coming videos and then also drop a like button on the video too it helps this small channel right now grow and it goes a long ways for me so i appreciate it, everybody thanks for sticking around and uh, next up on the menu for videos i'm going to be having i think more of a fitness related video coming out this time and from here on out it's going to be a little bit more tailored towards my main niche fitness and adventure so stay tuned guys this is a learning experience for myself right now so enjoy see you guys soon make sure you guys get outside Stay adventurous, do something fun today for yourself, and also stay fit too, because fitness is gonna go a long ways. It's gonna help you feel better as you're outside moving around, and just all combined, always try and be a better person each and every single day. Learn something new, get outside, 
You guys know the rest. We'll see you soon.